Hi, this is Gerard, editor in chief of Filipino Soul, aka SGIB Magazine. So just got in touch to believe that because everyone should be soldiering for something a dream, a goal, an idea, a train of thought, something. And on a PPG's production that stands for Horrors by Gerard, the best in freelance publicity photography. And if you haven't got a dream, a goal, an idea, a train of thought, don't worry about it. Get as much as you can, as fast as you can, and go home. Today, we're going to talk about music. But before we do, listen to my favorite instrumental song.
protection safety uh, from not having this video pulled because of copyright infringement. I'm not going to mention the name of the group or the song. Now, as I moved into my life, you know, it's funny how we developed into our own sexual identity or the way we make decisions on how we are going to look not only to other people but to ourselves i remember when i was very young uh, my father took me my younger brother and my youngest brother to the pool I'll never forget this time because, like I said, coming from an interracial family, my father was white in appearance. Um, I'm talking about Republican white. <laughs> and um, later when I saw his birth certificate, it said Negro, and I couldn't understand that. I'm still confused about it today. But it's not uncommon for white to have Negro blood in them. Uh, so any drop of Negro blood that's in you, you are classified as Negro. So anyway, so we had gone to this pool, <coughs> the Bell Pool in Staten Island. And my youngest, my youngest brother was playing. And, you know, we were playing. And then this girl, little girl was crying and she was pointing to my youngest brother, Sean. And the youngest girl's mother, <laughs> who I later uh, went to school with and was very afraid of, you know, her name was Pamela, Pam. And she pointed to Sean, the little girl, and the girl, Pam, walked up and smacked Sean, pow, you know, and Sean started crying, you know, and I looked at my father, it's like, you know, I don't know, I don't know if I, if I knew about... <sighs> turn the other cheek or, you know, uh, uh, how to protect your family or anything like that. But my father sat there and um, received Sean into his arms. So anyway, uh, when I went into the locker room, uh, my breaking the stereotype of what black men are supposed to be and look like uh, I'm talking about uh, sexually, you know, not having um, uh, a phallus down to my ankle or whatever like this or whatever, you know, um, when I was drying off and I looked inside and I saw this big fat white guy who no way, shape or form could see his phallus. And I said to myself, I'm never going to let that happen to me. Although at this age, I, I had no consciousness of sexuality, no, 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 no acknowledgement of the opposite sex, but it was that sight that always governed how I treated my body to make sure that I was at least always able to see my phallus. Okay, so uh, right now, uh, this next song I'm going to play for you is one that um, I had heard, you know, there were a number of songs, you know, I come from the household where um, music was was never deliberately played, I'll leave it like that, it was always the radio, I guess that's why I developed uh, 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 a certain mentality that I'm not going to buy your records, I'm not going to buy your albums, you know, I'm not even going to buy your 45s, you know, if what I can't copy from the radio, which is what I like, then, you know, hell with it. I looked at it as, if you're not going to support my lifestyle and, and my habits, why should I support yours? And for that reason, you know, I always, I had some awesome tapes of some fantastic music during my time growing up. But anyway, one of the songs I remember was called Going to the Chapel. And I can't remember, all I know, it was like, going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. He really loves you and we're gonna get married. I don't even know who sings that. But, uh, gee, he really loves you. He'll say I do. And we're going to the chapel of love. I guess that's the song, Chapel Love. I'm sure they won't pull me because of my voice. But anyway, that was the song. Another song that 
hit me, and I guess it really kind of opened my ears to the sound of a falsetto. And I'm gonna play it now. And um, uh, I know there's a line of this is every boy wants a girl. So here we go. And remember, this is Gerard on Filipino Soul Radio. And um, uh, I'm broadcasting from New York. And I hope you enjoy. Singer of the Temptations, which we're gonna get into next. 